15 years ago during my first day of high school my teacher gave us an assignment and at the time I had no idea that this simple little assignment would help me achieve things that I thought were impossible for me. And I will tell you all about this and give you the same assignment but first we have something to celebrate and the only proper way to celebrate it is to go for a run. <laughs> So what are we celebrating today? We're celebrating that me and you who watch and engage with these videos have grown this channel to 30,000 subscribers. And it's super hard for me to believe that 30,000 of you have liked my videos enough to hit that subscribe button. So I want to say a huge thank you to all of you for supporting this channel so we can inspire more people to an active lifestyle. And hitting this milestone actually have to do with the topic of today's video. So let's run back home and I will tell you all about that life-changing assignment. So it was the first day of high school and our teacher gave us a simple assignment to take a pen, a piece of paper and write down what we wanted to achieve during these three years in high school. And at the time the far most important thing for me was my career as an orienteering runner. So I started writing down some wrestled goals that I wanted to achieve in the Swedish national championships before finishing high school. And at first I wrote the uh, results that at the time would have been really good for me, but I still thought it was possible. I think I wrote about getting five top six placements in the national championships or something like that. And then I looked at my list and thought, is this what I really want? And the answer was no. What I really dreamt about was getting medals in these big competitions. But at the time my best ever result in a national competition in my age group was 10th. And I was constantly struggling with running injuries that prevented me from training the way I wanted and needed to do to improve and to be able to take medals. So, although it felt super scary, I decided to write a new list where I wrote the things that I really wanted and dreamt about achieving. The, the things that felt super motivating for me. So one of those things that I wrote down was getting one gold medal and at least two medals from the Swedish National Championships. And I still to this day remember the feeling of writing that on the paper very vividly. It felt sort of scary writing these goals down, that I had no idea if they were going to be possible or not for me to achieve. But it also felt really good and motivating and directly after writing it down it felt a lot more possible to achieve than it did just a couple of minutes ago. And it made me so motivated to work hard towards those goals. Three years later when I was about to graduate from high school our teacher gave us back our list of goals and it was so satisfying seeing that I had achieved everything on that list. And since then this is something I have implemented on a regular basis and to be honest of course I have not achieved all the ambitious goals I have written down for the years. But that's okay because I am 100% sure that I would have achieved far less if I didn't dare to once in a while figure out what I really want to achieve and set some ambitious goals to work towards. So that brings me back to the fact that we are celebrating 30,000 subscribers on the YouTube channel today. So a year ago I wrote down one of these long lists with ambitious motivating goals. And for 2021, one of them was to grow this channel to inspire more people and to hit 20,000 subscribers. And at the time of setting this goal, I think this channel was on about 6,000 subs, but we quickly hit 10,000 subs and with several months to spare, we managed to get it to 20,000 subscribers. So that number of 20,000 was one of those things that I thought was close to impossible to achieve in a year. Because those 6,000 subs that I had at the time had taken me 7 years to get. And to be honest, just a couple of years ago I had no skills in filmmaking whatsoever and really struggled to be in front of the camera. 
but I love to make these videos and to try to inspire others. So together with you who support this channel, we made it happen and I'm so happy to have achieved that goal last year. And that's also why I decided to set a ridiculous ambitious goal for this channel for 2022 to hit 100,000 subscribers. And this is one of those goals that feels a bit scary and impossible, but it feels super motivating to work towards. So if you like my videos and still haven't subscribed to the channel, I would appreciate it a lot if you hit that subscribe button so I can get one step closer to my goal and we can reach and inspire more people. So writing down ambitious goals is something I really encourage you to do if you're not doing it already. I find life becomes a lot more fun and meaningful when you have goals to work towards. And don't be afraid to set tough and ambitious goals if those are the goals that motivate you to put in the hard work that's necessary. Because the worst thing that can happen is that you fail. And failing is always better than not trying. And if you fail once, you can just try again using the knowledge you learned from your first attempt. As the quote goes, failure is not the opposite of success, it's a part of success. Sometimes athletes that I coach ask me if a goal they want to set is realistic or not. And my answer is that it is not realistic if they don't even dare to set it as a goal. But if they dare to set it as a goal and work hard towards it, anything can happen. Because none of us really know what's possible to achieve until we have tried. And the simple act of just writing down your goal has actually been shown to increase your chance of achieving your goal by 42%. So let's write down those goals and make 2022 a great year. So while you're thinking of what your goals should be, here are two other videos uh, you can watch. And as always, thanks for watching, train smart, have fun, and I will see you in the next video.